welcome to Sarah Stampin' Retreat. Today we're going to be exploring some different die cutting techniques and to do that we're going to be using this John Next Door kit that comes free with the latest magazine from them. So when you buy this magazine you'll of course get the magazine that shows you a whole heap of different ways that you can use all the product that comes in it and then you also get this cool stamp set so it's all based around this cake but it's really nice you can actually see here you've got happy birthday christening anniversary engagement i think you could make wedding cakes from it all sorts it's really versatile and you've also got the numbers so you could kind of do your big birthdays or your kids birthdays as well and you've got this really nice embossing folder that's a six inch square embossing folder you've got this die set which is obviously going to be the focus of what we're doing today with our die cutting techniques and Within that you've kind of got the birthday cake, you've got these bits that you could cut out, you've got icing you could layer on, a couple of cute bows, some bits to kind of cut out candles and things, and these bits that you can kind of cut into your card, as well as the circle and the scalloped circle. And then you've got this paper pack, these usually come in the middle of the magazine, so you've got loads of cut aparts. Those are obviously really nice for card panels. And you've got loads of different colours of those to kind of fit different themes. And then you're back to the beginning, so then you get two sheets of each paper. So let's go on and make some cards. So the first card that we're going to create is going to be a partial die cut card. So I've got four and a quarter by five and a half inch card blank. So then I'm going to open up the card and I'm just going to draw a light pencil line halfway down the front of the card and then I'm going to take the pieces of my cake onto there. I'm going to leave a little gap between each layer and then I want to put it through so it only cuts this side of the line. So I'm going to line this top plate up with that line and then pop it through my die cutting machine like that. So then we can take those off, you can see that it's only cut up to the line. So then we're going to erase that line. Now I'm going to pop this on here and use my ruler as a guide so that I know I'm going along the right path. And then I'm just going to score that at two and an eighth inches. So then I'm going to fold this into a zigzag card like this. So then I'm going to grab these coordinating stamps. So then I'm going to use this and stamp onto this piece here. I'll do the same with the middle one and with the top one. So then I'm going to colour that with my alcohol markers. So then I've coloured the cake and I've cut a piece of this paper is big enough to fit in the inside and a piece that is big enough to fit on this side but I want to cut an aperture in them so that the cake can show so I'm going to take this oval die which is from this set from Spellbinders which I'll link below and I'm going to use this and I'm going to pop that on there so that I can see that it's going to go round the cake and then I'll cut that from there but I'm also going to line it up on here and then it can cut a hole through both sheets at once. So then I've got this in here and then I've also got this on here and they line up really nicely. So then I can glue them like that. And you can see they line up perfectly. So then I've got some yellow cardstock and I'm going to take this one that we used before and I'm also going to take this scalloped one that fits around it and I'm going to tape them on to, to make a frame from this. So I've cut two frames from that cardstock. One is going to go around this back piece and the other one I'm going to partially glue around here. So I'm going to pop the glue onto the actual card and then I'm going to lay this over so it lines up with the one below it 
I'm going to glue that down and I'm going to cut the excess off. Then I've popped the happy and birthday stamps onto my block. I'm just going to heat emboss those in white onto this black cardstock. So I've got this Wow Bright Bright Super Fine Embossing Powder. So then I'm just going to cut these ends into little flags. So then I'm going to add this on fine pads just under here. So I only want to add fine pads to that one side of it. And then I've cut the biggest and the middle sized bows from the die set with the same yellow cardstock as I used here. I'm just going to add those over here. So then I'm just going to add some of these small black gems to the bows. So then that's that first card finished. That opens really nicely like that. So then for this card, I'm going to make a circle card. So I've got two five inch pink circles. I'm going to line this one up at half an inch. I'm going to cut half an inch off the edge of that. Then I'm going to turn it round, line it up at four inches here. And then I'm going to score this bit and bend that over. Then I'm going to add some glue above the line. Then I'm going to lay this on top. So then I've cut some bits using the die set. So this piece I've cut using these two pieces combined. So you've got this piece which cuts around and this piece creates this little circle pattern inside. So this is quite nice because it's really flexible because you get all three of these circles in the pack. So you could use any of them on their own. And this one obviously doesn't cut, it just embosses, but you could use it to make a circular pattern on your card rather than cutting something out. Or you can use it with either one of these. You could use it with that to create this. Or if you're creating an aperture, you could cut this and then emboss that and it create like a pattern around your aperture which I think would be really nice as well. But for this I've used these two to cut this and then this one to cut this. And I'm going to layer those up. And then I've cut these cake pieces by using the combination of the actual pieces and they've each got a flower piece that fits inside them. So this one like this. And this one like that. So I've cut them together so that you can see the pink through the flowers. So let's glue those on. And then I've got these little candles for the top. So there's this die that cuts out the three candles. And what I've done for each one is I've taken the blue one, cut the top off, and then I've glued this over the yellow one to make it look like a candle. So then I'm going to add these little candles to the top of my cake. Now I'm just going to add on these blue gems which are from this Crystal Collection Beach Dreams little things from Lucy's cards and I'm going to add them to the centre of the flowers. So I'm going to add this little top onto the front of my card. I'm going to do that using fine pads. And then I'm going to add this sentiment on that I've cut from the pack. So then there's that second card completed. So for this next card I want to do some inlay die cutting. So I've got a 5x5 five five inch card blank made of this blue cardstock. And I've got another 5x5 five five inch square that I'm going to lay on top of it. And this is the one we're going to do the inlay into. And I'm going to do multiple inlays for this. So you'll see as we go along how that works. So first I've got these corner pieces 
And I'm going to cut those out of the four corners of this card. So I'm going to use both pieces. So I'll just pop it through twice. It's going to cut those flowers into the card. So then I've got my die cut corners. I want to put one of these frames in the middle, but I want that to be inlaid. So I'm going to cut this from the middle of here so that I've then got room to inlay that one. So that's everything that I need to cut out of that piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some double-sided adhesive sheet. I've cut this one just an eighth of an inch smaller than my card front. Pop that on there. Then I'm going to pop this over the top. And that adhesive sheet will stick this down, but it will also stick everything else that we need to inlay down as well. So I cut those floral corners from some pink cardstock as well, so I can inlay those now. So then I've cut this frame that I created by cutting these two frames together because I want to put another one in the middle so I can put this into here but then before I put this in because I want a cake in the middle I need to cut the cake pieces out of here so now I can cut that like that then that can go in there and then I've cut these pieces out of paper from the paper pack. And I'm going to pop those into there. And I could have die cut these out of the cake pieces to inlay these as well, but I decided to lay that on top of the paper because the paper's quite thin anyway. So I'm just going to glue those on. Then I'm going to just lay this over here because I think this is the easiest way of transferring over these small pieces. Not all of these small pieces stayed in the um, die. I'm just going to press what ones did through because it's the easiest way of getting those small pieces through to inlay into the bit behind. Then all of the bits that weren't still stuck in the die. I'm just filling in manually. So I cut this little star from the pack and I thought that would be cute for the top of the cake. And I also cut this Celebrate sentiment which I'm going to glue to the bottom. So then I've got these blue gems. I'm just going to add a centre to my flowers. And it's just tying with that star that's on top of the cake. And there's that card finish. And I think it's really pretty with that inlay design. So then for the next card, I'm going to emboss some pieces for a cake. So I'm going to use this embossing folder. And I'm going to do a heat emboss resist. So I'm going to add some embossing ink refill to this acrylic block anything that you can kind of spread out the ink on though would work a glass mat a silicon mat anything like that a large acrylic block anything like that with a surface that you can spread out the ink on and then you want to cover your brayer with it and then i just want to cover the front of the ink pad with it so that's the blue part close it down and pop it through my die cutting machine to emboss it so I'll open up my embossing folder I can just take these pieces off and I'm going to sprinkle it with silver embossing powder And then I can melt the powder. And 
And then you can see we've got this really nice silver and blue pattern on that cake. So now add a little silver to the candles too. So since I've still got a little um, embossing ink on here, I'm just going to rub the main body of the candle on there, not the bit that I want to keep yellow at the end. And then I can heat emboss those too. So I'm going to grab some yellow cardstock. I'm going to heat emboss that happy birthday sentiment that we used earlier. And I'll heat emboss that in silver to tie in with the other elements of my card. So let's build up my card. I've got an A6 card blank, so that's 4 and an eighth by 5 and 7 eighths inches. And then I've got this piece of dotty paper from the pack that's going to cover my card front. And obviously this is paper, so you want to get your glue on as thinly as possible because you don't want any to start like wrinkling and warping. So then I've cut these two pieces with those same two oval dies I used on the first card. That's actually a really useful set of different shapes. I'll link it in the description below. I always try to link as much as I can of what I use in there. So then I'm going to add on my cake pieces with frame pads. We can add on our little candles. Now add this to the front of my card. And then I'm going to pop my sentiment up on frame pads. I cut that so that it would fit right across my card. So then there's that one completed. So then for this final card, I've made a card blank from watercolour cardstock. And then I'm going to stamp these through the apertures. So I want to do some watercolouring, so I'm going to use an archival ink. So I can use it with watercolours. So now I've got that pattern that shows through those front apertures. And then I'm going to take these cute balloons and I'm going to stamp them around. And then I'm also going to add in some of these little stars. Now what we're going to do is watercolour with our ink. So I'm going to put a bit of these inks on each corner of this. So I've got Coastal Cabana, Dirty Flamingo and Daffodil Delight stamping up inks. And then I'm going to use one of these blender pens. You could use a paintbrush if you don't have a blender pen. And I'm going to just use that to colour some balloons. It's just kind of like watercolouring, but with your inks instead of paints. So then inside, I want to do a bit of a watercolour wash over here. So then I've got a little spritz bottle, which I'm just going to spray on here just to water those down a little. And then I'm just going to do a bit of a wash over here. So then I've cut this congratulations from the paper pack. And I'm going to pop that up on foam pads on there. And then I've cut these little bows from pink cardstock and I'm going to pop those up the middle of the cake. So then I'm going to stick these black gems in the middle of the bows. 
then that's that card finished. So then there are all five of today's cards. Let me know in the comments below which is your favourite. I really hope you enjoyed creating these cards with me today. If you did I'd appreciate you clicking like below and you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all then YouTube will also notify you when I've got a new video available. All of the products that I've used for today's cards are listed in the description below. And there's also a link there to my blog if, where you can find a picture supply list if that helps you find what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.